Batman and Harley Quinn held its world premiere at San Diego Comic-Con, and the movie's stars and creators were on hand to give us the inside scoop on DC's latest animated adventure. Back in the original show, I was more the comic relief, you know, the lighter of the two. In, in this one, uh, it's it's just the whole thing is kind of is light. People have wondered whether Batman is funnier in this movie than usual. The movie is funnier than the traditional Batman movie. Batman is Batman. The situation around him is funny. The character remains rooted in what he's always been. The humor is his reactions to it. You know what I mean? So Batman never changes. Oh, finding Floronic Man's voice uh, is quite interesting. I was told even though this was a very powerful, menacing, green type of creature, uh, he was also very intelligent. So I figured, okay, let's incorporate that, which is a nice mix because, you know, I played a lot of bad guys and they're always, you know, they're growling and, you know, you know, you know, mutating and God knows what. But with this one, he had a very uh, interesting, uh, He's very intelligent, and his delivery is very intelligent while he's beating up the <laughs> good guys. So uh, it was an easy place for me to find. It works. It works! This is no ordinary leafy mouse, but a harbinger of the new age! A Nightwing's relationship with Harley is, is kind of uh, complex. There's a little uh, romance, shall we say? Harley Quinn reporting for duty, sir! God help us. The Poison Ivy role in this film is, for the first time, Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn fighting each other because Batman has enlisted Harley Quinn to fight Poison Ivy and the Floronic Man because they are hoping to return the Earth to an Eden, which probably 99% involves destroying the human race. Well, uh, Nightwing and Batman are really partners in this one. So back in the, in the original show, there was very much a father-son relationship and a lot of dramatic tension because uh, Nightwing wanted to, to break out on his own and couldn't because, Nightwing, uh, because uh, Batman was definitely the boss. In this case, they're really equal partners, although there are some moments when Batman gets to put him in his place and remind him, all right, yeah, you are, you are Batman, you know. Oh, crap. Right. We need Harley Quinn. Harley teaming up with Batman. First of all, is, is chaos. Second of all, is a betrayal to Poison Ivy. They're friends. Poison Ivy doesn't like Batman. I mean, she you know thinks he's cute, but she's mortified. And also that she now has to fight her own best friend. My favorite scene from the movie is when we're in the car and Harley is taking us on a basically a wild goose chase and trying, Batman is trying to contain himself. He wants to strangle this woman. It's very funny. That's it for this episode, but if you missed any of our daily San Diego Comic-Con covers, then you can check it out on the DC Entertainment YouTube channel. See you next time, super friends. I'm gonna go check out the con.